Now, in this part of the question, we're given y equals 5x minus 7 plus 2 root x plus 3 all over x, and asked to find dy by dx. Now, before we can do that, this term here needs to be changed. And that's why in the previous part of the question, they got us to write that particular expression in this format. So what I'm going to do is copy that back in. So we have 5x minus 7. And instead of this, I'm going to write those two terms. So that's plus 2x to the minus a half plus 3x to the minus 1. Now, each of these terms are in the form ax to the power n. Let's just put that down here. y equals ax to the power n. And if you have terms like that, hopefully you've remembered that dy by dx always equals a multiplied by n, then reduce the power by 1, x to the power n minus 1. And if you're not clear on this, just go to my website, look under differentiating this type, or if you're on the page with this video, you should be able to see a link to this tutorial. So we'll start to differentiate the terms then. So we would therefore have dy by dx equals, for this term, we would just simply have 5. Differentiating a constant, you get 0. So we'll leave that out. And then when it comes to this term, 2 times minus a half is going to be minus 1. And then we would reduce the power of minus half by 1. So that's minus 3 over 2. So we have minus x to the minus 3 over 2, minus 1 and a half. Notice that you write that as a top heavy fraction. And then to differentiate this term here, the power multiplied by the number in front gives minus 3. Reduce the power by 1, so that's x to the minus 2. Now we're asked to simplify the terms, so what we can do here is for this term here, remember the rule that x to the power minus n is the same as 1 over x to the power n. So I can write this as minus 1 over x to the power 3 over 2. And for this term, I can think of this as minus 3 multiplied by x to the minus 2, which will be 1 over x squared. And if I multiply 3 by 1 over x squared, I would have 3 over x squared. So, given that y equals this, dy by dx turns out to be this expression down here. And that brings us to the end of this question.